Hi guys, welcome back to High Yield Interday Trading. So before I start today's video, let me quickly remind you all about the upcoming training program that's starting on 27th of October 2018. Well, it's very important to learn and to learn the right things. So if you want to be independent, if you want to be profitable and if you want to see yourself at a position wherein you can take any of the trading decisions by your own, then I would insist you to join in my training program. OK, and I'm just insisting here. The final decision is always yours. So you can see all the details flashed on the screen right now. And if you want to get further details, then please feel free to send an email to admin at high the mail ID has been mentioned in the description section as well or you can call us whatsapp us telegram us whatever is feasible for you okay so decide for yourself and join our team so today we will discuss about a thing that is a kind of a strategy which is well known but many don't use it because the results of that strategy holds good in a one day time frame okay and using a one day time frame and trading intraday is very risky because many of the things will get displaced like the stop loss will be more and stuff like that okay so basically it's not practical so the thing i'm talking about here is nr4 and nr7 where nr stands for narrow range okay but as a trader it's good to know about various stuffs so let me go ahead and explain what exactly nr4 and nr7 are and how can you use these things in your trading okay so as i said nr stands for narrow range the number four here means the last bar of the past four bars that has the narrowest range than all the previous three price bar ranges or the previous three candlestick ranges okay similarly the number seven means the last bar of the past seven bars that has the narrowest range than the previous six bars or the previous uh, six candlestick ranges okay one thing that many traders understand wrong is the word range here range is the difference between the candlesticks high price and the low price and not the difference between the open price and the close price of a particular candlestick okay this is something that you need to remember now coming to the type of uh, nr breakouts one is the nr4 nr7 breakout and the second one is the nr4 and nr7 breakdown okay so uh le let me take you to the chart seeing which you'll be more clearer okay so let's move on to the chart here so uh, i was just randomly searching for nr patterns and this is what i got uh this is hdir uh, hdil's chart okay so we'll discuss about nr4 first okay so you see these four uh bars right these four candlesticks starting with the red one one two three and four just by seeing this it is very much clear that the range okay as i said the range means the high and the low of the candlestick okay so the narrowest range among these four is the fourth candlesticks range right so the high and low of the fourth candlestick is you know i mean the difference between the high and low of the fourth candlestick is less than the difference between the high and low of the previous three candlesticks okay one two three so the fourth candlesticks difference of the high and the low is the narrowest compared to the previous three candlesticks okay hope that is clear now when you get these type of pattern this completes the nr4 pattern okay the reason why i have drawn a horizontal yellow line here is because this is the fourth candlestick whose range is the narrowest okay among the four candlesticks that we get here okay similarly uh this uh, this uh, uh, what chart this chart also fulfills the nr7 okay so when we talk about nr7 the seventh candlesticks range should be the narrowest okay so if we consider seven candlesticks it will be starting from here right one two three four five six seven right so just by seeing it it is very much prominent it is very much clear that the seventh candlesticks range that is the difference between the high and the low of the seventh candle is the narrowest or the smallest compared to the previous six candlesticks okay so 
these seven candlesticks okay complete the NR7 pattern okay now coming on to how do you trade it okay now you will take up the trade let's say for example uh, you are trading NR4 so we will consider four days candle okay uh, by the way this uh, is a one day time frame as you can see here so each candle represents one day okay so when we talk about NR4 we will consider these four candles right one two three and four you will take the position on the fifth candle okay now where do you take the entry your entry will be the place when the fifth day's candle breaches the high of the fourth day's candle okay so here will be your entry okay what will be your, your stop loss your stop loss will be low of the fourth day's candle so here it, it will be the stop loss okay so the top of the candle the high of the candle is your entry on the fifth day on this candle okay and your stop loss will be the fourth day's low which is this position okay now what will be the target the target is the close of the fifth day's candlestick okay so where did the fifth day's candlestick closed this is the point right so this is the target okay now there is no hard and fast rule for the target if you are satisfied with your target somewhere here book it if you are satisfied with your target somewhere here book it okay but theoretically speaking the target is set at the uh, closing okay at the closing of the of the fifth day's candle okay so this is how you trade okay now this is a one day candlestick as i said uh, this fits good in a one day time frame okay that is why people don't uh, normally trade it in intraday trading okay so ha have a look okay do some more research and i believe you can use these type of uh, patterns as a swing trading in your swing tradings okay that will be quite helpful i believe okay now the thing that you see here as i told you earlier if you remember the two types of uh, nr breakouts right one is the breakout in the upper side and other one is the breakout in the lower side okay now this breakout is a breakout in the upper side okay so our entry is here our stop loss is here and our target is here okay now let's say for example if uh, uh, it was a breakdown okay in the lower direction okay let's say we have got a candlestick here so your entry will be here okay when the candlestick or when the price breaches the low of the candlestick that will be your entry okay your stop loss will be the high of the candlestick okay and your target will be the closure of the candlestick anywhere okay so wherever that closes that particular can candle closes that will be your target okay i hope it is clear as to how do you decide the entry exit and the stop loss when you see a breakout or a breakdown okay so that's it guys this is what i wanted to share with you and i hope it was helpful to you but remember this pattern or strategy holds good in bigger time frames okay so be careful while using it in intraday trading if at all you are going to use it maybe uh, you can also use it for swing trades as i said okay depending on the candlestick patterns uh, it has formed okay now like in this case it was a bullish engulfing right so if i take off all the drawings from here okay you can clearly see that this is a bullish engulfing okay this green candle is completely engulfing this red uh, candles body okay so it is a bullish engulfing that is appearing here okay and that is the reason why it zoomed up so you can you can very well uh, mix and match things okay so we have two reasons why HDIL went up from this point the first point was it was a NR4 and a NR7 breakup okay or uh, yeah a breakup uh, in the upward direction and the second reason is because uh, you got a bullish engulfing here okay but again the price action that I'm talking about is not that simple make sure to be very much aware about anything that you do in the stock market make sure that you have a good cognizance and a good hold of whatever you are learning okay so yeah that's it guys and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please join in the telegram channel the link to which you will find in the description section okay and i will see you all later you all have a very good night happy trading bye bye